Hey guys and welcome to Arctech. In this video, we will solve a question based on constructor overloading. So in this question, we are given a class. The name of this class is friend name. Inside this, we have two variables. The first one is a pointer. The name of this pointer is name and this pointer is of type character. So this pointer can point to a character or to a string. Then we have an integer whose name is a and in the public section, we have two constructors. So here we have constructor overloading. The first constructor is not taking any arguments. Therefore, so there is no need of passing the arguments while creating the objects to call this constructor. So inside this we have two lines of code that is a is equal to zero and then we are creating a string using the new operator. Then we have second constructor and this constructor is taking one argument and this argument is a character pointer. Hence, to call this constructor we have to pass an argument that is a character or a string. After this, inside this we have three lines of code. After this we have the display function of this class and then we have the modify function of this class and this function is taking two arguments. The first one is uh, object of this friend name class and second one is also object of this friend name class. Hence, to call this modify function we have to pass two objects of this friend name class and then we have some manipulation inside this modify function. Then we have the main and let us start the execution of this program from the main. In the main we have a character pointer whose name is temp and the value for this is dark. That is after execution of this line a pointer is created. The name of this pointer is temp and this pointer will point to this string that is dark. So now temp is having the address of this dark. After this we are creating the objects of this friend name class. So we have seven objects of this friend name class. Now here we are using the constructor overloading. So here the first object name is name1 and we are passing the argument that is the temp. So we are passing the pointer of uh, this dark string as the argument to this first object. So after execution of this uh, part the name1 object is created and the constructor that is this constructor is called. Why? Because we are passing argument and this argument is the address of the first element of this dark string. Hence this constructor is called so we have the, this constructor so we have the value of this f as the address of this temp. So here we have a table. Inside the table we have uh, the columns and rows and we have all the objects of this uh, program. So here we have the first object as name1 and since we have passed the argument temp to this therefore we have this f that is the uh, character pointer f is having the value of dark. So we have the f as dark of this name one. Why? Because now f will point to the dark string. That is f is having the address of this dark. After this we will go inside the constructor. We have a is equal to str len of f. That is a will have the value of length of f. Now f is here and the length of f is 4. Therefore a of name is having a value of 4 now. After this we have name is equal to new character of a plus 1. So this string this uh, statement will create a character array and the name pointer will point to this character array. So here we have new operator that is we are doing dynamic memory allocation. Hence after execution of this line uh, array is created and the name pointer will point to this array and the name and the type of this array is character. Also the size of this array will be a plus 1 a is a is 4 here. So a plus 1 that is 5. So size of this array is 5. After this we have strcpy name comma f. That is the value of this is copied to this name. The value of f is copied to name. Now value of f is dark. Hence this value is copied to name. Simple. After this this construct is over. We will go back to main. So here we have the name 1 object is created now. Then we have name 2. And we are passing a value that is a string here. So we are passing soft here. So after execution of this part, the control will go to the constructor of this class that is the second constructor. Why? Because again we are passing a string here. Hence this constructor is not called. The second constructor is called. Here we have character star f is equal to soft. That is now f will have the address of this soft. So here we have f pointing to this soft. Now f is of name2 because we are calling the name2 object. 
so we have f of name 2 is equal to soft so this value is copied here in this f so that is the f is pointing to this soft after this we have a is equal to str ln of f now f is the soft and the length of this soft is 4 so we have a is equal to 4 here after this we have name is equal to new character array therefore a character array is created and the size of this array is a plus 1 so a is 4 here therefore array size is 5 and name is a pointer pointing to this array after this we have strcpy name comma f that is the content of f is copied to name now content of f is soft therefore this value is copied here so now name is a pointer pointing to this soft after this we will go back to main again we have the third object as name 3 and we are passing a value of doll here so this value we will copy this therefore the second constructor again is called and this time we have f as a pointer pointing to this doll so there we have f as doll then we have a is equal to str len of f so length of doll is 4 so we have a is equal to 4 and this a is of name 3 why because name 3 object is created then we have name is equal to new character of a plus 1 hence again a character is created a character array is created and the size of this array is a plus 1 that is 4 plus 1 so we have this as 5 after this again the value of f is copied to name so we have this name equal to doll simple then we'll go back to main again we have name 4 this name for object is created and the value passed here is barbie that is the value to the constructor is passed as barbie so the control will go here and we have f is equal to barbie again uh, this constructor is not called second constructor is called because argument of character type is passed so we have the value of this as f as barbie and then we have uh, we'll go inside this friend name and we have a is equal to str ln of f now length of this barbie is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have a is equal to 6 so a of name 4 is 6 and the second line is creation of this character array and the size of this array will be a plus 1 that is 6 plus 1 that is 7 hence now our array is created and name is a pointer pointing to this created array then we have strcpy name comma f so the value of f is copied to name the value of f is barbie so this value is copied to this name simple one more thing here is new is a operator that will allocate the memory and this will return the address of this allocated memory hence name will have the address of this newly allocated memory after this this uh, object for name for object is created so we'll go back to main now this part is over sorry this part is over then we have f1 object created now here no value is passed no argument is passed therefore this constructor is called why because no value is passed so here we have uh, for object f1 this is f1 so no value is passed so we have uh, this constructor is called and then we'll, we have a is equal to 0 so we have a of this as 0 a of f1 is 0 then name is equal to new character a plus 1 again the same thing here a uh, array is created and the size of this array is a plus 1 and the type of this array is character so a is 0 and a plus 1 will be 1 so array size here is 1 then this part is over we will go back to main in the same way f2 is created so we have f2 and since no value is passed therefore this constructor is called so we have f2 here and so again we have a is equal to 0 so a of f2 is 0 and a array is created character array is created and the size of this array is a plus 1 that is 0 plus 1 that is equal to 4 we will go back to main again we have f3 in the same way f3 will have the value of 0 and 1 so after this this much part is over that is all the 7 objects are created then we have f1.modify name1 comma name2 that is we are calling the modify function of f1 and we are passing two arguments the first one is uh, name one object of this friend name class and second one is name two object of this friend class hence we are passing the two objects for this modify function so after execution of this line the control will go to here and this is uh, for the f1 object so this function is called we have friend name 
and d and friend name and b that is our d is name one now and we have b as name two so you can write here we have d is equal to name one and by b2 we are referring to name two so we have uh, d is equal to name one and b is equal to name two now inside the modify function we have a is equal to d dot a plus b dot a now d is name one and b is name two so we have a is equal to that is a of f1 is equal to d dot a plus b dot a now d dot a is name one's a and name one's a is four so we have four plus b dot a means name two's a name two's a four so we have this as four that is equal to eight so we have a f one's a is equal to eight after this we have delete name that is now name a name was a pointer that was pointing to array but now name will not point anywhere that is now name is not having any address after this we have name is equal to new character a plus one so now a uh, character array is created and the size of this array is a plus one so a is eight and a plus one will be eight plus one that is nine so the array size is nine now and this array is created now name will point to this array and the size of this array is nine after this we have strcpy name comma d dot name so the content of this d dot name is copied to name and this name is of f1 so d dot name means this is d and d dot name means f name one's name so name one is here and name one's name is dark so this value is copied to f f one's dot name now f one's dot name is here so this value is copied here simple then we have strcat name comma b dot name now strcat is a function that will link the two strings that is this will add the both the strings so this value that is b dot name is added to name of f1 now b dot name means name to's name why because b is name to so name to's name is soft so this value is added to f1's name so f1's name is here so we have this value added here so we have the value of f1's name as dark soft simple then this function is over we will go back to main inside the main we have f2 dot modify f1 comma name 3 so now we are calling the modify function of this f2 object okay and we are passing two arguments both of them are objects so now we have f1 passed here that is now d is f1 and b is name uh, name 3 so d is f1 and b is name 3 why because these two arguments are passed and these two are passed here so these are the new values after this we'll go inside the modify again we have a is equal to d dot a dot plus b dot a now d here is f1 and f1 dot a is 8 so we have this as 8 plus b dot a now b, do, b is name 3 and b, do, uh, b dot a that is name 3 dot a is 4 so we have 8 plus 4 that is equal to 12 so a of f2 is 12 now after this delete not name that is the array that was created earlier is deleted now then we have name is equal to new name character a plus 1 so again a uh, character array is created and the size of this array is a plus 1 that is 13 so now name is a pointer pointing to this new array after this we have strcpy name comma d dot name that is this value is copied here so d dot name means f1's name now f1's name is here dark soft so this value is copied to name that is the f2's name so this value is copied here after this we have strcat name comma b dot name now b dot name is name 3's name now name 3's name is here that is doll so this value is linked to this dark soft so we have this as this so the value of f2's name is dark soft doll after this this part is over we will go back to uh, main so here we have f3 dot modify name for comma f2 that is the modify function of f3 is called now f3 is called and then two values are passed these two are objects therefore d is name for now so d is name for and b is f2 then we have the modify function inside this we have a is equal to d dot a 
plus b dot a that is f3 is a will become this now name force a is here 6 and f2 is a is 12 so we have so f3 is a is 12 plus 6 that is 18 so we have a of f3 as 18 now then we have delete name that is the previously created array is deleted then name is equal to this thing that is a new character array is created and the size of this array is a plus 1 that is 19 after this we have strcby name comma d dot name now d dot name is name force name hence f3's name will become name force name name 4 is here and this is barbie so this value is copied to this f3's name then we have strcat name comma b dot name now b dot name means f2's name f2 is here f2's name is here this value is copied and this is linked to this uh, name that is f3's name so this value is pasted here so now the value of f3's name is barbie dark soft doll after this this function is over we will go back to main inside the main we have f1 dot display now so therefore this display function of f1 is called and we have display as cout name now name is the value of f1's name f1's name is here therefore this value is given as output so paste it here then we have endl so we will go to new line then we have then this function is over we will go back to main we have f2 the dot display that is the display function of f2 is called then we have this output so the value of name of f2 is displayed that is this value simple and in the same way the third uh, objects that is f3's display is called and then we have output as the name of this f3 that is this value so again then we have endl so new line and then this part is over and this part is also over hence the full program is over and in this way the output of this program is this so the important thing here is you should know constructor overloading you should know the new operator that is what is the use of this operator and in this way we get the answer as this thanks for watching